What a day to start working on the scooters, huh? Start torrential downpouring. Your scooter has seen it, better days it, last summer. It it got it caught some more yeah, in the winter. It caught the Rona virus, I think. All my clear coat is coming off. Oh, well, like, see, mine didn't do that. You know why? Because I don't have any clear coat left. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that's what mine will look like after this summer. <laughs> So we're busting out the scooters for the first time. Mine has a hard time starting if you don't start it for a week, so this will be interesting to see how it starts. Yeah. yeah. Oh! No way. Come on. Come on. First try! <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> Today, we're gonna try out the new rolling wrench carburetor and see if it's all what it's cracked up to be. What is it cracked up to be? It's different than a regular standard GY6 carburetor. This one is just a slide, so as soon as you hit the throttle, it's supposed to be like instant throttle response. More, res more responsive. More responsive. Okay. Technically more power a little bit, maybe? So I don't know if it'll give us a speed increase or just an acceleration increase, but we're gonna find out. This won't fit on yours. No, it's only for the 150cc. So it will fit on your scooter, and it's going to also fit on the Jeep. We can test out both of those. Now I just gotta figure out how to take this thing apart again. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been, been running pretty good. I put it together for the first time and that was it. So just for you guys' information, this scooter does have lighter variator weights. So they're 13 gram weights and that made a big difference. Yep. Mm -hmm. Really big difference. On takeoff, that's uh, it's more aggressive for sure. We had a new app that we had to get because first we want to test Mason's scooter and see like zero to 60, not zero to 60, zero to a uh, speed time. So we have 10, 20, 40, and What's 60. What's that thing saying? It's resetting. I'm going to test it because we don't know if it actually works. So the only way to do that. I'm fast as fuck, boy. It didn't work that time. I don't want to run again. Bring it out here. Let's just give it a shot. Yeah. Oh, 0 to 10, 2.1, 0 to 20, 3.7, 0 to 40, 9.3. And then your top speed was 53 miles an hour. We knew that. Okay, why don't we do this one more time? seconds instead of 3.2 we'll, nice. we'll just put those in the middle somewhere yeah and so then we'll do it average amount yeah all right um sweet i guess okay now it's time for the rolling wrench carburetor and yeah. we'll see how that does Okay. Look at this beautiful thing, oh my goodness. So this is the 26 millimeter carburetor and I'm pretty sure the stock one is 24. I feel like this is a very lazy way of showing you how to install it, but if you need to know, the Rolling Wrench YouTube channel has a video on how to install it. So if we're not giving you enough information, because I guarantee we're not. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, This is just us installing it. This is just us trying to make it work, yeah. It's uh, not exactly made for every application, but it's pretty universal. And it might actually, will this plug right into here? I hope so. Oh, oh wait, oh wait. Damn, I'm good looking. Here you go. Oh, don't look at your Yeah, don't look at it, I'll break. It actually connects to my throttle, so that's awesome. Huh. Cool. First attempt. First attempt. Just right out the box. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Leroy, calm down, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
We think we've got it figured out. It took a while to get the jets correct. A lot of re Look at Mason right now. That's how much trouble we were in. <laughs> a lot of jetting and rejetting. What happened? <laughs> Your hair. <laughs> like, God. It took a while. We're putting it back together, but unfortunately, it's dark out right now. So, by the magic of editing, here we are. And it's still raining. And it's, <laughs> and it's raining still. We thought it would be okay today, but. Um, Scooter's running phone. all right. What's up? Get your phone. Oh, yeah, I do. We got to get that running, yeah, of course. Now it's really raining. You picked the worst time to do this. It literally said it was going to be clear in like an hour and we decided to go out right now. Much colder. Wet. Very wet. It's very cold out. Ooh. Very wet. <laughs> Much colder than yesterday. Yesterday was what, 73? 73. It's only like Today is 40, 33. We did get a run. 0 to 10 is 1.1 seconds. 0 to 20 is 2 seconds. 0 to 40 is 8.3. Must have been 48 miles an hour. So you didn't get a new top speed, but that's okay. We weren't going for that necessarily. We we're just going for acceleration. So yeah, wasn't it 0 to 20 was like 3 seconds? So you gained an entire second. It's pretty good. Yeah, if you can get the jetting right on those things, they definitely give you a little better lower end for sure. Now we're going to test the Jeep. So this also has a 150 cc GY6 engine and this was a GY6 quad and then we turned it into this Jeep. If you haven't seen any of these videos before, we play with this thing a lot. It's really fun. It does about 40 miles an hour, a little more than 40 I think, but, but faster is better. So faster is better. We're gonna go get a baseline run and then we can check the numbers on this as well. Break. Not good on that. <laughs> Okay, started. 0 to 10, 2.3 seconds. 0 to 20, 4.8. Got another one. 0 to 10 was 0 0.6 seconds. What? Heck 0 yeah. to 20 was 3.2. I mean, that works, so we got some numbers there. So now, tear down on this. Yep, we're gonna make it easy on ourselves. We're taking the body off. And luckily, unlike the scooter, taking the body off on this thing is it's easy. It's kind of a two person job. Pull it off. Look at that. What's that horrible noise when you let off the gas? I don't know, the chain is rubbing on something. The chain's rubbing on everything, really. <laughs> it's rubbing on the frame. Look at that. We must have hit something. Ooh. Jeez. That's what's making the noise there. The chain guard's pushed into the chain. We 
got the carburetor in. It looks good, it actually fits the throttle cable. It's not a normal throttle, it's a thumb throttle like this. So what I ended up doing was taking this plate off, sticking this in there and figuring out what the diameter was of this. I had to drill it out a little bit and then clamp it in there. And then this is kind of adding more tension so it just, it's, it's in there good. It's not coming out. Yeah, we don't have any issues with that. Uh, it's routed nicely, the body fits good. It does run, so we will give it a test and see what happens. Just got back from the run. Uh, it does feel like it picks up a little quicker. It's got way better throttle response and I think that's the biggest thing with this carburetor is gonna be throttle response. It is bigger, so I do believe there is more potential for this thing to actually make it go faster. We'll save that maybe for another video. As far as this carburetor goes, guys, highly suggest it. I will post the link to the website for this carburetor on Rolling Wrench's website. You guys will be able to go check it out. If you have the budget to do so, I'd say do it. First of all, it's cool. Second of all, looks awesome. Third of all, it's gonna teach you a lot about tuning. So we definitely saw some acceleration increases in the scooter and in the Jeep. I would suggest it if you guys are into modifying your scooters and 150 GY6 engines. I would say this is definitely a worthwhile investment. It's gonna be more fun. You're gonna learn a lot. I mean, who doesn't like buying parts for their machines, you know? It's kind of therapy, throttle therapy. See what I did there? Sorry if this like video wasn't as in depth as it could have been. We're not gurus with this stuff. So if you wanna learn more about this carb specifically or tuning carbs at all, Rolling Wrench does have some very good high quality videos that they're gonna answer all your questions. Also check the links below. We're gonna have the carb in there. I'm gonna try and find a carb on Amazon that's relatively the same and post that there too. We like to make videos of us having fun. So if you liked this video today, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. 